Let us solve this differential equation, which is in the second order. So the question is, you want to solve this differential equation by reducing its order. <coughs> so the question is, d squared y by dx squared plus y times dy by dx is equal to 0. And you've got one condition here, that when x is equal to 0, y is 0, and dy by dx is equal to 2. So when they're saying to reduce this, its order, we need to change this from the second uh, second order differential equation to the first order. So we're going to do a substitution. Uh, hopefully you know how to solve differential equation. A differential equation, the difference between differential equation and a simple equation is, a simple equation has, uh, you end up with one solution or no solution or more than one solution, okay, in real numbers. Uh, but of course, if you have a com if you uh, do complex numbers, you have a solution. Okay. Uh, but when you're solving a differential equation, what you're doing is you end up with a set of equation or a family of equation. Okay. So basically, what they're trying to tell you is this is a differential equation. You've got one condition. Find the family of or family or families of equation. Okay. So I'm going to say W, let W is dy by dx. Okay, now dy by dx. <coughs> okay, so this is the main substitution. So how can we write, this implies d squared y by dx squared is d by dx of dy by dx. So this is a second derivative. The second derivative is the differential of the first derivative. Okay, when you differentiate the first derivative, you get the second derivative. So this is nothing but d by dx of w, which is nothing but dw by dx. Okay, so this will write. So this second uh, second derivative, I've changed this into first derivative. Okay, now. What, what can we write? Now, dw by dx is equal to dw by dy times dy by dx. Now, this is the chain rule, simple chain rule. You can understand this dy by d, this dy in the denominator and dy in the numerator gets cancelled. So, this and this are the same. So, this is equal to dw by dy times w because dy by dx is w. So in place of, first I wrote d squared y by dx squared is dw by dx, and then I'm saying dw by dx is this. Okay. I, I ho hope you can see the pattern. So in place of this, I'm going to write the next step from here. So let me scroll this a little up. So this becomes dw by dy times w plus y times w is equal to 0. So what can you factor out? You can factor out a w. So w times dw by dy plus y is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic expression, so this should be pretty easy. w is equal to 0 or dw by dy plus y is equal to 0. Now, what is W? W is nothing but dy by dx is equal to 0. So, what we are saying is the gradient function or the gradient is 0. So, now you have to think when is a function or for which function do you have a as uh, the gradient of 0? So, well, you have 0 gradient for a constant function. Okay, so I hope you understand that. So, y is equal to c. So, this is a family of equation. Okay, now if you want to graph this, just for to explain the graphical uh, understanding of this, you take any line, suppose this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. So if you draw a line, y is equal to, say, suppose all these lines, suppose all these lines are, can be said, this is, say, whatever number this is, this is, say, 3, this is 2, this is 1. So this is a family of equation where c can be any number. So this is this is this family of equation. Okay, now coming to this. 
So, d w by d y is equal to negative y. Okay. So, uh, what is uh, what is that you can say now? d w by uh, have we done something wrong here? No, d w. Okay. So, uh, uh, what can we say now? So, here yeah, let us separate the uh, w's and y's. So, can I say d w is equal to minus y d y. Okay. So, now we can integrate both sides. So, integration of d w is equal to minus integration of y d y. So, integration of d w is nothing but w is equal to minus y squared over 2 plus d. Let me put a constant d here instead of, I already used c, so let me write say the constant d, the constant of integration. Therefore, now what is d, what is w? w is dy by dx is minus y squared over 2 plus c. Okay? So, what will happen now? Now, you have to put the condition. What is the condition that you have got? They are telling us when x is 0, y is 0, and at that point, dy by dx is equal to 2. This is the condition that is given. When x is 0, y is 0. At this point, dy by dx is 2. So, can we put this into this equation? So let me change color now. This becomes 2 is equal to 0 plus c which implies c is equal to 2. Uh, oh, I should have written d here. I don't know why I wrote uh, this is this is d. At times I get carried away. So, this is your d. This is your d. So, d is equal to 2. Therefore, I can say uh, dy by dx dy by dx is equal to minus y squared over 2 plus 2. Okay, so let us simplify this. So, therefore, I can say dy by dx is equal to minus y squared plus 4 over 4, which is nothing but, I can take the fact one quarter out, this is 4 minus y squared. So, I am going to bring the y's together and the x's together. So, I can say 1 quarter, sorry, 1 over 4 minus y squared dy is equal to 1 quarter dx. So, again integrating both sides. So, we have separated the y's and x. So, integration of 1 over 4 minus y squared dy is equal to 1 quarter uh, how did I already get a quarter there? Uh, this is again a mistake. Okay, so yeah, this should be two. This should also be two. Okay, sorry for making mistakes. It's also good to make mistakes because you learn. Minus y squared plus four over two. You should have two year. You should have two year, two year, and again a two year. Okay. So two dx. Okay, so integration, uh, so this is, uh, this is at this stage, uh, okay, let us, let me move further. It's a very lengthy example, I probably will do in two sessions, okay. I want, don't want to make uh, long videos, okay, so yeah, I want, this is a very difficult integration, so here we have to do a trig substitution, okay. So what does it mean? So to get a trig substitution, you can do if you have 1 plus x squared or 1 plus y squared or 1 minus y squared. I want to get a 1 here. So, what if I divide this by, by 4? So, I can also divide this by 4. So, what have I done? I have divided the denominator by 4. Okay. That means actually you multiplied this by 4. Now, to get rid of this, what I have done, I have to put a 1 quarter here. So, basically what happens is this 4 will go up and this 1 quarter or this 4 in the denominator is sitting to cancel this 4. It's uh, like a chess game, okay, and that's why maths is so exciting. So, this is 1 quarter, 1 quarter times integration of 1 over 1 minus 
y squared over 4 is equal to half integration of dx. So you can now multiply. So this becomes, you can multiply both sides by 4. So it can become integration of 1 over 1 minus y squared over 4 is equal to 2 integration of dx. Now here we have to do a trick substitution. From this we can do a trick substitution. So we'll say let y squared over 4 is equal to sine squared theta. So this implies y over 2, I'm taking square root of both sides, is equal to sine theta. So I can say y is equal to 2 sine squared theta. Sorry, 2 sine theta, not sine squared, 2 sine theta. And I want to express everything in terms of theta. So I'm going to differentiate both sides because this has got a dy. This has got a dy. This has got a dy. I missed out the dy. So if you differentiate both sides with respect to x theta, dy by d theta, d theta is 2 cos theta. Okay, so dy can be written as 2 cos theta d theta. Okay, so we need also, we'll come to that. We, from this, we can also write the, uh, what's the value of cos theta. We'll come to that later. So let us do this. So dy is, in place of dy, I can put 2 cos theta d theta. In place of y squared over 4, I can put uh, sine theta. So this whole thing will change to, from here, this whole thing will change to integration of 1 over 1 minus sine squared theta times 2 cos theta d theta is equal to 2 times integration of dx. So I'll finish till here. So this is 1 over this is integration of 1 over cos squared theta times 2 cos theta d theta is equal to 2 times, I'll put the 2 out, so it'll be x plus c. Okay, so this what happens is, one of, so let me write one step more, so this is integration of 2 cos theta times d theta over cos theta times cos theta is equal to 2 times x plus c. So this cos theta will get, one of the cos theta can get cancelled. Okay, so here we can say this is 2 times integration of 1 over cos theta d theta is equal to 2 times x plus c. So the 2 gets cancelled, so we are left with again integration of secant theta or sec theta, d theta is equal to x plus c. So we'll stop here and I'll show you how to integrate. Uh, you don't have a formula for integration of sec theta. You have the derivative of sec theta. Uh, the derivative of sec theta, I'm looking in my formula sheet, is uh, sec theta tan theta, but you don't have an integration of sec theta. So we will finish off this in the next uh, video.